In today's video, we're going to be ranking rappers from worst to best. There's going to be five rappers per category, and we have categories such as SoundCloud rappers, Lil Rappers, Chicago rappers, and much more. And before we actually jump into this, guys, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to tap that notification bell so you never miss another NFR video. But, Ant, let's get into this. Let's do it. First category for today is going to be SoundCloud rappers. This one was easy for me, though. We okay. have X, Juice World, Lil Uzi Vert, Trippy Red, and Ski Mask. So, um... I, I think the first, no, no, let's start off with the, the bottom, actually. I, I think for myself, I, I put Ski Mask there. I put Trippy Red at the bottom. What? Absolutely. No way. I, just, I feel like, okay, Trippy Red has a lot more of a developed catalog overall. He does. I feel like when you look at his duality also as a rapper and singer, he's able to play on that end. Yeah, Ski Mask does have a better flow, but even at that, more memorable tracks within his catalog. His longevity is talking about the, like, this is kind of like going over. You get what I'm trying to but say? Trippy like, Red's catalog is so mediocre and there's so many misses within it, whereas you look at Ski Mask, the slump god. I feel like his flow was so unique and stylistically, he's so set apart from other SoundCloud rappers that I just feel like he's more interesting to listen to now and also when you're listening to stuff no, like Beware the Book of Eli and Stokely. Like, No, I completely disagree. I would probably go Speed Mask at number five, then I would do Trippy at number four. That's where I'm at with oh, it. Could we do that? I really disagree. You know what? I'll, I'll budge this time, but. Okay, so Trippy's going to go at number five. Me. Um, no, Trippy's going to go at number four, Ski Mask at number five. No, then after yeah, that, then exactly. okay, so then we got a three-way kind of tie here between Juice Rolled, Uzi, and X. The way that I wanted to do this was Juice at three, Uzi at two, and then after that, X at one. That's the way that I was going to do it. You said Juice at three, Uzi at two. And then X at one. I think the more debatable one is between X and Uzi at one, but I was absolutely going to slot Juice Rolled at three. Yeah, I feel like X defined like SoundCloud rap perfectly, bro. Like he really like mastered the art of like making low budget sounding music and making it sound so full of life through the vocals or through distortion or I whatever like it was. A, I like, feel like he's a better songwriter than um, Uzi is. I feel like when you look at like what he left us with before he unfortunately passed away, arguably some of the strongest projects within Uzi's catalog, if you had to slot them in there. I also think that when it comes to diversity, he wasn't going to be touching him on that end as well. Yeah. I also think that when you look at like you know him as a producer and sort of a DIY artist, you know he could really do it all, bro. He was a multi-talented artist. Yeah, so I, I agree with that. X at one, Uzi at two, Juice at three, Ski Mask at four, and then Trippy. Sorry, Trippy at four. And, and Ski Mask, Mask at five. five. How do you feel about that ranking? I think it's pretty good. Besides Trippy Red, I, I think Trippy Red would, would no, go on number I, five. I saved you. I saved you. No, you Trippy Red at four. That's a perfect ranking. Okay, let's go on to this next one, all right? Rappers that never won a Grammy. We have Pusha T, Snoop Dogg, Travis Scott, Rick Ross, and Nicki. So I'm going to be honest with you. I think we're going to start off at number five with Nicki, right? That's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I thought you would have put Nicki above Rick Ross. No. No, Nicky's not going above Rick Ross. I thought you might have gone there, but I agree with that. I think that, you know, obviously Nicky in terms of influence and popularity deserves a lot of credit. But in terms of like just classic songs, classic albums, she's sort of lacking in terms of quality yeah, music but for Rick the Rick Ross part. never really had like a crazy catalog either. He doesn't. I just feel like a more skilled as a rapper. I feel like he's more skilled as a rapper. I also think that he's one of the best feature artists that the rap game has ever seen. Uh, more interesting content matter over the years, song concept wise. Better ear for select beat selection as well. Yeah. So I would go Rick Ross at number four Absolutely. right after. Absolutely. Now Nikki. we have Travis, Snoop Dogg, and Pusha T. Okay, so this is what it came down to is my top 50 rappers ranking because it was very hard to look at it. And like ranking it based on like just overall impact, legacies, and like just overall artistry i had travis scott at number three snoop dogg at two and then push a t at one how does that feel yeah and it sounds a bit crazy maybe putting push a t above snoop dogg but when you look at it like push a t kind of had like an ice cube type of career where he was legendary as a solo artist and within a group you but know? the thing is is that i feel like i had push a t under snoop if i'm not mistaken or was it around the same one anyways regardless though that was like the one and two where i was debating is like who's gonna go where but Ultimately, that's what but I What would makes do. you put Snoop Dogg over Travis? Because I agree, but I just want to hear your take on it. Well, Doggy Style, the birth of G-Funk overall, like his contributions on 2001, like yeah. being the forefront of fucking Death Row Records. Like there's just so much that goes into yeah. it. And I'm a huge Travis Scott fan. So if like, let's say I put my my bias into this, whose music do I listen to more on a daily basis? I probably go Travis, but Snoop Dogg's a legend. You know, like that's a... That's the almost the highest pedigree rapper that like rapper status that you could possibly get in my opinion. Yeah, and, and I think tr Travis has a superior catalog to, to Snoop Dogg, oh, but course. he hasn't had the longevity or the impact. Um, Maybe later down the line, like you see how his career plays out, but it's only been what like ten years. And he's been yeah, really as prominent as he should be. And skill set wise, you could say they're on similar playing fields in terms of how much they could bring to the well, table. Well, I feel like Snoop Dogg's a bit better of a lyricist. Yeah, he's probably a better a lyricist, bit better. and he's better with his pen game. But I also prefer Snoop Dogg's flow. 
100 percent so all right so that's right. gonna be the final ranking okay push t at one snoop dogg at two travis at three rick ross at four Nicki minaj at five. next up we have mumble rappers and for this one we wanted to just put in like people trap rappers and people that have mumbled it was just a cool category well, to sort of place well it's also like a lot of these rappers have had that label on them yeah. like when they first started out i do feel like a lot of these rappers have kind of stepped out of that i don't even think but no, but like some, of, some of these artists still mumble in, 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 their, in their songs and that's fine like it's i understand what you're like, saying for but, example like Young Thug is mumbling in Czech, and that's one of the best trap songs ever. It's not like I think people put down mumble rap when they shouldn't because it's become it's a style of its own, and there's a lot of merit to it. So, anyways, we have Playboy Cardi, Future, Lil Yachty, Young Thug, and Chief Keef. So, at number five, I'm gonna go Yachty, right? Yeah, I think when you look at like this is a rapper ranking, and like let's start here is his best album in terms of his rap stuff. No, like there's nothing too crazy. With he's not great at, at finding it- the, the beat and finding the right flow for a beat. At number four, I have Chief Keef. Number four, I have Chief Keef as well, but, okay. but beneath Cardi. I feel like that's going to be a hot take. Yes, I have Chief Keef. I don't think that's a hot take. At number three, I have Cardi, right? Yeah. Okay, and then after that, the one and two is going to be decided. I have Young Thug at two, and then Future at one. Same here, man. Okay, so that was an easy ranking. So the ranking looks like this. Future at one, Young Thug at two, Cardi at three, Chief Keef at four, and then after that, Lil Yachty at five. Go on to the Lil Rappers. Lil. All right, Lil Rappers, we have... Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, Lil Tecca, Lil TJ, and Lil Kim. So Shout out to Lil Kim. We have some legendary artists in here. Um, Lil Kim was definitely like the blueprint for a lot of female rappers that we see today. Um, she was never that great, though. She was never that great, but like, bro, she is the blueprint. You listen back to albums like Hardcore, you're like, we would not have Nicki, we would not have Cardi B, we would not have Megan Thee Stallion if it wasn't for Lil Kim. So in terms of like influence she is like leaps and bounds above most yeah, rappers but she on really here had that much of a developed catalog as well like she, she wasn't was, the most lyrically she, she, skilled mc and, and she wasn't the sharpest mc ever but regardless though let's like start at the bottom yeah. we'll start at the bottom little tj's, little at the little bottom. TJ's there okay at number four i go little tecca i have little tecca four as well then i have little kim love Th- little kim then i have little baby and little Wayne. yeah okay man. we're agreeing there we're we go agreeing. so this is the okay this is the official ranking one wayne two baby three kim four tecca and five is well, what other little rappers you think could have made like uh a good placement within this uh, this ranking. That's a good question. I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel Lil like Dirk. Like if well, we have Dirk Lil Dirk coming here, up next. That's true. We do have Lil Dirk coming up. That's next. okay. Lou, go to the Chicago rappers. Chicago rappers. We have Lil Dirk, Lucky, Saba, Lupe Fiasco, and Kanye West. And it's a pretty fucking random toss up of, of Chicago MCs because you have more lyrical guys um, and you have obviously more trap or new school Chicago artists, and all of them do their own thing pretty uniquely um okay so starting at the f- bottom i have little dirk i have little dirk as well okay. i have lucky over dirk i have again. Okay, i have lucky at four as well number three i have saba number two lupe fiasco and number one kanye that's my ranking um i have hold on yeah i, I wait so you said at the bottom let's start from the bottom you yeah. have little dirk then on top of that you have lucky yeah then you have saba mm-hmm. then you have lupe, lupe and, and then, then kanye, I have kanye. Yeah, me Is too. that another one we have it in a row? Bro. It's easy. Damn. Like, fuck, we should have maybe changed some selections here. This but is I fucking... Like, uh, this wh- is, uh, were you expecting maybe to go anywhere else with this I, I was thinking maybe because it's like it's a rapper ranking. I'm like, maybe we could make the argument that Lupe is a better rapper on paper, well, he which is, he a, is. Which he is. But um, overall artistry, it's not even in comparison. Yeah, but we are looking at mostly rapping, though. Like That's kind of like the what we put everything Actually, towards. No, you know what? Lupe Fiasco is definitely on like the highest levels of rapping. That's why. One of the best catalogs and one of the best legacies. But ultimately, I'm going Kanye. Yeah, you still, you still can't... Like just it the idea of putting Lupe above Kanye is tough, but all right. Next up, this one we might have some different uh, some different answers. We have rapper singers. So mm-hmm. Lauren Hill, Childish Gambino, Kid Cudi, Anderson Park, and Tory Lanez. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start at the bottom again. Okay, so Tory Lanez at five. Yeah, but he's a fucking great singer, great absolutely. rapper. Um, sort of a chameleon as well. He's able to go into so many different subgenres and absolutely But I have apart. him at five. Uh, Kid uh, Cudi's on top of Tory Lanez. I have Childish Gambino what? at four. I have Childish Gambino no at four. No way. Childish at four? He's one of the best <laughs> rapper singers ever. Listen, either way, he's if it's not four, it's three. He's not going over Anderson or Lauryn Hill. He's Jeez, not going. At, he's not going over. There's no way. Yeah, I, oh, I, I, can, I, I, listen, I, I, I could budge you, with you. You want to budge with me? I'll budge with this one. For okay. You. So okay, Childish bud- Gambino at four, then Cuddy at three. All right. Well, no, it's it's the reverse. You want a Childish Gambino at three? Yeah. So let's start from the, from the bottom. Tory Lanez at five. Four yeah. is gonna have to be Kid Cuddy. Mm-hmm. Three is gonna be Childish Gambino. Mm-hmm. Two is gonna be Anderson Park. And number one is Lauren Hill. Yeah, that's why I really didn't mind. That was the only hard part about this ranking. But is- what makes you put Cuddy above? Uh- I prefer his catalog. 
I think as a catalog, also like the types of harmonies that he hits. And like, I guess it's like, you could say that Childish Gambino was a better singer, but overall, yes. I think I, I'm just looking at Kid Cudi's skill set and I don't know. I, I had him a bit over it, but I didn't mind. Like this was one of those rankings where I'm like, okay, I could put Childish Gambino over Kid I, Cudi. I just feel like, is I, I just, I love how easy he is, he, how easily it is for him to switch from rapping to singing and like take on almost a new role as an artist entirely when you're talking about Gambino, whereas Cudi sort of blends it all together, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, I, I think that's a fair ranking. So number five for us was Tory Lanez. Number four was Kid Cudi. Number three was Childish Gambino. Number two was Anderson Park, And number one, of course, the queen, Lauren Hill. That was easy. Um, number one was an easy one. All right. Next up, we have UK rappers where we have Skepta, Dave, Little Sims, Central C, and Jay Huss. Here we might disagree. This is because I, I feel like you probably put Skepta at one. I have Skepta at one, I but that's okay. All right, so one. yeah, okay. So let's start from the bottom. We'll do that again. That's a that's a good system. Start from the bottom, work your way up to the top. Okay, Central C at five. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no debate there. And Jay has at four. four. Absolutely. That's fine. And Dave at three. That's where I had Skepta. At no, that's where what? I had Skepta at three. No way. Skepta obviously is like the most coveted and like legendary status UK rapper out of everyone you know, on this bliss. list. Like no way. He has um, yeah, such he, a he has, sick catalog. He has a solid catalog. I think that um, he's one of the most menacing and like commanding UK rappers to ever do it. Nah, no way. But in terms of just pen game, in Influence terms of like and everything, bro, no psychodrama way. versus ignorance is bliss. I'm taking psychodrama every day. I don't know if I take psychodrama every versus, single day. Nah, there's no way. Bullet from a gun, grease. Dave, I'm sorry, and Dave and. Sims are both better MCs at the end of the day for no, me. I, I know they're disagree. both early in their trajectory. Even at that, like, he's a DIY rapper. He's such a fantastic producer on total artistry. He absolutely gets them. You could maybe argue that Little Sims is a better lyricist, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I hold Skepta up to that regard. Okay, so no well, let, let's start off slowly. I'll, I'll give you the, the edge. I'll make you put um, Dave at three. But now okay. we got to decide about Little Sims and, and Skepta, and I'm not budging on Little Sims. Like, she is easily the better rapper. I'm sorry, bro. <sighs> That's Simbi? Nah, no the way. Skepta have an album that matches up to Simbi. I, I, listen, I, I guess it's because I'm such a big fan of Ignorance is Bliss, but regardless, though, he has such a good developed catalog. Her beat um, selection the, the way that is he also was, better, even the way that opinion. he bridged the gap between UK rap into North America. Super influential in that regard as well. I, I Listen, I guess so. You know what? I'll budge for you on this All one. All right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I, I'll budge I, for I you on forget. this one. So this forget. is how it's going to look. Central C at five, Jay Huss at four, Dave at three, Skepta at two. That's tough yes, in this sir. one. And one is Little Sims. But okay, how about rappers that went diamond? Read through yeah. the list, Lou. So rappers went diamond. Um, this is sort of a random bunch of rappers um, that have crossed over into pop. You have Nelly, you have Lil Nas X, French Montana, Post Malone, and Wiz Khalifa. Let's okay. start at the bottom here with Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X at five. French Montana, four. four. Three um, Post Malone. Three Post Malone, yeah. Two man. Nelly. Two Nelly and one, one Wiz. Whiz. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, that was easy. That's what I easy had in my one. notes. Yeah, easy that was money. super easy. Okay. Wait, do you think people are going to be mad at us for putting uh, Wiz over Nelly? Maybe. Yeah, but Wiz is fire. Wiz Nelly has had his run. He had a couple of years where he was fucking killing it. But I mean, I, I think Wiz is definitely... Um, a better just, MC. Uh, yeah, overall, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, next up, rappers that founded record labels. There's so many we could have chosen from, but we have five. We have Joey Badass. We have J. Cole. We have Drake. We have Kendrick Lamar and Eminem. So this is the way that my list would This go. is going to be pretty easy to predict just because a lot of these guys were in our all-time list, right? Well, all of them were, no? I think literally Except all of them, Except for Joey, actually. maybe. Joey, Joey maybe, I don't think, was in He mind. was an honorable mention for us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Joey's going to be going at number five, right? Absolutely. Then number four is going to be Cole. Four is going to be Cole. Did well, wait, no, you had Cole above Drake. Yeah, I had Cole above I had, Drake. I had Drake above Cole. But for this, I, I'm cool with putting Drake below, below J. Cole. Yeah, because regardless, though, like, whatever. They're interchangeable. They're interchangeable. They're timeless. I, I they were literally that, yeah. one I, spot I, I, I don't mind. Okay, other. number three is going to be Drake. And then after that, I guess this is where we're going to disagree is the Kendrick and Eminem placement. Because I had Eminem higher on my all-time list. You had Kendrick on, on a higher level. But now you got a budge for me. I got a budge for you. So okay. that means the, Eminem at one. Kendrick at two. All right, so the list is going to look like this. Joey Badass at five. Cole at four. Drake at three. Two is going to be Kendrick. One is going to be Eminem. Let's go into TDE rappers. And this is going to be the final category for today. Lou, take us through it. What do we got? We got Dochi, Absol, J-Rock, Isaiah Rashad, and Schoolboy Q. Um, I think it's going to get only more challenging as we go on to the top three. The, the bottom two are probably pretty obvious. Dochi at, at number, number five. five. J-Rock at number four. Yes, me. okay. I thought, okay. You were, I thought you were going to consider putting J-Rock over Isaiah. No, That's where I was gonna have no, the conversation. No, definitely with not. Okay, all right. Definitely yeah, okay, not. okay, all right. Then we're cool then. But now top three. Isaiah at three. Absol over yeah. Isaiah. Control system, long term mentality. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 no way. I, I, he is. He's. A, he's 
He's a better MC. He's a better MC, but in terms of catalog, I have to give it to Isaiah Rashad. In terms of like finding his own niche in, in hip hop with that cloud rap and really sort of building up his own sound. He sounds like Absol. Who's made album and concepts albums like Absol? There was a point where people were you saying that. You can compare an Absol to a like, Lupe just in the sense besides, of like their, their Ken- writing style and how cryptic it could be at times. Like No, Absol is definitely one of the best lyricists. Of the he's 2010s. a better lyricist, but in terms and of overall music. Fantastic, oh, he's also made some fantastic mu- like music over the years. Oh, no, nah, no way. Isaiah was shot at three. Sheesh, bro. Uh, do listen, guys, I would personally put Isaiah above Absol, but for the sake of this, we'll put Absol... Um, at number two and Isaiah at three and then Schoolboy Q at one at number one yeah that was easy for me alright so catalog. this is how it's going to look like Dochi at five four is going to be J-Rock three is going to be Isaiah two is going to be Absol and then number one is going to be Schoolboy Q what was the biggest shock to you <sighs> out of all this I think maybe putting Kid Cudi above, below Childish Gambino yeah. that was one where I was kind of like are you sure yeah. and then after that I think the other one that I the was the UK kind rap of, right the UK rap yeah but I know how like I was expecting it because I know how like high of a regard you hold Dave and Sims at, and then after that, like, you know how big of a Skepta fan I am. So I knew we were going to clash on that. For but for sure. the most part, while I was doing my notes before we even got into this episode, I kind of knew where you were going in certain areas, and I knew where we would clash. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it was, it was, it was but pretty... But I, uh, I didn't expect us to agree on so many different categories and have, yeah. like, legit the exact same rankings. Yeah, it was pretty All smooth. Right. It was pretty smooth. But guys, let us know down in the comments where did you agree, where did you disagree. And if you haven't seen it already, we did do a video ranking albums from worst to best so you guys could check that one out right now and let us know which ranking video should we bring to you guys next thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon peace